as we've seen a 20 time increase in solar and a huge increase in wind uh, during the course of this administration, we've seen a lot of jobs come along with that. Same thing with the uh, efforts to cut energy waste throughout the economy. Those also involve important jobs to do the home retrofits and to do uh, the combined heat and power installations and to do what's required in order to uh, cut energy waste throughout the, the economy. Um, and Mark can probably speak to that in some depth and we might wanna give him a moment as well. Uh, but we see uh, extraordinary opportunities uh, for rapid, ongoing job growth in the renewable sector, the energy efficiency sector, and throughout the low carbon solution set as states move to implement uh, the Clean Power Plan. And I just want to note, uh, as a follow on to the prior question and an echo of what Richard said, that a key part of the Clean Power Plan is that each state gets to decide how they want to implement the Clean Power Plan. And many states will want to focus intensively on renewables. Others uh, will want to focus on a combination of renewables and nuclear and other technologies. And so we'll see uh, lots of jobs come with that transformation in each state and ongoing job creation through the suite of policies that are already in place consistent with the Climate Action Plan. Bit off topic, but what recourse is there uh, against those states, uh, the number of states who have said that they will not implement the, the clean power plan? I mean, what happens then? So I think it's important to just take stock of where we are in the process. The uh, EPA has gone through a truly extraordinary public engagement process in developing the Clean Power Plan. And they've received millions of comments and uh, are in the process now of working through those comments, taking on that input. And we're confident that they'll be finalizing a strong, legally robust rule that is uh, appealing for states to adopt. And again, every state will have uh, latitude to design a program that fits their conditions and their priorities uh, and to deliver the, uh, the standards that are set for their state um, by the EPA. So we're confident that once the rule is finalized this summer, that there will be a strong interest across states in uh, getting moving on uh, accelerating the momentum that's already out there in the power sector, as some have already noted, uh, and, and they'll have lots of latitude to do that in a way that works for their circumstances. Thank you. 